This is module one, lesson five, on the back. Today's objective was to understand the meaning of the unknown as the number of groups in division. Number five, Daniel has 12 apples. He puts six apples in each bag. Circle the apples to find the number of bags Daniel makes. I want to make sure I put six apples in each bag. So I'm going to circle groups of six. There is one group of six, two groups of six. Letter A. Write a division sentence where the answer represents the number of Daniel's bags. I started with 12 apples. That's my total. I divided those apples into groups of six. My answer needs to be the number of Daniel's bags, which is two. He has two bags or two groups of apples. Letter B, draw a number bond to represent the problem. When I draw a number bond, I start with the total. I next divide out the number of groups that I have to represent the legs of the number bond. In this case, I have two groups, so I'm going to draw two lines coming out from my number bond. Last, the circles on the outside represent the number I have in each group. In each group, I have six apples, so I will put sixes into each of those circles to finish my number bond. Number six, Jacob draws cats. He draws four legs on each cat for a total of 24 legs. Letter A, use a count by to find the number of cats Jacob draws. Make a drawing to match your counting. So Jacob has a total of 24 legs of, for cats and he puts four legs on each cat. So I'm gonna start with one cat and he puts one, two, three, four legs on that cat. I need to continue counting till I get to 24. Another four legs will give me eight legs. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16. Remember, I'm counting up to 24. 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm labeling each circle so I don't forget where I left off. 21, 22, 23, 24. There is my picture. When I look at this picture, I can count the number of groups or the number of cats Daniel drew. One, two, three, four, five, six. Daniel drew six cats. On your own, Write a division sentence to represent the problem. Remember when we divide, we have the total amount we started with divided by the number of the size, which equals the number of groups. On your own, use numbers to represent those words.